The Center for Liberal Arts and Sciences Pedagogy, CLASP, brings faculty together from across the Open Society University network to develop teaching and curriculum development skills focused on what we call writing-rich pedagogy, which is student-centered learning, using writing to help students think about what they're studying and to teach faculty, help faculty learn strategies for making their classes student-centered and help the students develop critical thinking, reading and writing skills. I direct the Institute for Writing and Thinking at Bard College, where our OSUN project is called the Center for Liberal Arts and Sciences Pedagogy, and I direct that program as well. What we're doing here this week is we have our two cohorts of class fellows, and they're faculty who are excited about, devoted to, and interested in thinking about student-centered, writing-rich, liberal arts pedagogy. So we're spending the week together working separately in two different groups, but also as one large group to think about what we do in the classroom with our students and ways that we might change our classroom practice to make it more engaging, more student-centered, more democratic, and more collaborative. I was teaching public speaking, argumentation, debating, community engagement. We did a presentation on Tuesday to the, to the faculty group, to the CLASP fellows, um, about why debate might be important to incorporate into the classroom. And one of the reasons uh, was for people who are uh, not native English speakers, so for English is not their primary language, many, many it's their third or their fourth, uh, that debate and being able to speak out loud and engage with others in that kind of moment, uh, a lot of research shows how that can improve people's language skills very quickly um, as they seek you know, to fill those gaps in, in knowledge that they don't know with a particular language. Um, so I typically do debate in uh, my class and the first one is usually an impromptu debate and then the second one is something that they've already prepared for. For the impromptu debate, it'll typically be a subject that we've been covering over a week or two so they should have some idea or some um, kind of facts associated with it. And I provide them the guidelines that I got from one of the workshops. It's an opportunity to, to learn new techniques okay, new pedagogies, new approaches. So it's a very enriching program and, and, and particularly for me, I've learned so, so much and I've been inspired by so many people, even fellows, not just the facilitators or the instructors. I'm fortunate to be here in this wonderful uh, CLASP Fellows Retreat. I'm here to explore and find out more about this writing and thinking pedagogy, which has really excited my practice as a practitioner, as an educator, and I'm looking forward to taking it back to Wales where I'm looking to explore how it fits in. It is very important because usually students stick to the idea that learning is just acquiring content. So you just sit down in a classroom, you listen to the professor, you just take notes, present an exam, and that's it. With these methodologies or these teaching uh, pedagogies, learning has to do with a self-exploration process. So through writing, the students are going to be able to know themselves better, how they can acquire abilities, attitudes, and uh, other skills more deeply. In terms of method, for the class fellows, um, many of them come from places where uh, the methods of teaching are less interactive, where it's more top-down, um, information is transmitted to students, and I think the methods that they were able to engage this week really help them empower students to find their own voice um, and to figure out from experience why things are like they are, not just because they're told it's a certain way. Uh, at one time I asked my students to do a little bit of free writing, and at, at first they didn't know what it was, what it was. Okay, and then I, I give them a little explanation and they started doing it. Some of them produced, have produced a lot of beautiful pieces that I kept up to this day. The techniques that we use to go about writing, writing based teaching are very interesting and fun and engaging. So students tend to, you know, really participate and enjoy it. The idea behind CLASP is that thinking and writing are not separate activities, but we write in order to figure out what we think. That thinking doesn't come before writing, but we write in order to think. And so we have a series of strategies that we help faculty develop 
and think about how to use in their classes to, um, to help students think. So it's not about writing about any particular subject. The strategies we use can be used for anything. I'm a philosopher, Erica, with whom I teach is a poet. In our group, we have social scientists, we have mathematicians. Everybody benefits from learning how to use writing to teach. The fellows come from 21 different campuses. So we have fellows from Al Quds Bard, from the Haitian Educational Leadership Program, from Brock University in Bangladesh, from a few of the Bard High School Early Colleges. We have somebody from the University of Witzvaderstrand in South Africa. And so they're really spread every place around the globe and they represent almost all of the Osun campuses. Getting to know teachers from other parts of the world is enriching because you understand that what you feel and what you do is not just uh, reserved to you. It is actually shared by many people all across latitudes and you feel accompanied. You don't feel low alone. You feel that there is a whole community of people that's feeling and learning, that's uh, working the same things you do every day. So it's really nice to be part of a community. It's wonderful because it appeals to critical thinking. So it brings the students to really think and to read. Uh, these are some of the things that we tend to lose uh, these days. People don't really spend time to to go deeper, to go beyond things. These are some of the things that really drive the students to books and to uh, add back to their pens or even to their computers. It helps them create a sense of community because they, 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 there's a lot of collaborative learning, collaborative uh, uh, work that, you, that they will be doing. But I'm, I'm looking around here and it's about how we connect into our landscapes and into our communities, our global communities as well, as well as those geographical communities that we live in and I'm just making connections and I've been lucky enough and fortunate enough to make connections with other class fellows both in the first and second cohort with shared interests around climate and sustainability but being here in Colombia it's making me think more and more about how interconnected we are and how important it is that we maintain and develop these connections, I think.